Hi, this is Jay. Welcome to Bright Ideas. Jerome Bruner identified three stages of cognitive representation. We have an active, iconic, and symbolic. First level is inactive. Children learn about the world at an early age, through their interactions, with tangible items, and the results of those interactions. Children conceptualize objects as tools, to manipulate their immediate motor responses, or the surroundings. Bicycle operation, knot tying, and apple tasting are a few examples of this. Second level is iconic. In the second level, models and images are used to facilitate learning. The student can now represent particular items or events, in their minds using mental representations. This is accomplished by connecting recollections of the event, with famous photos. This makes it possible to distinguish between items, that have undergone slight changes. And the third level is symbolic. It occurs when data is saved as a code or symbol, like a language. Every symbol has a set relationship to the item it stands for. For instance, the word dog, symbolizes a certain group of animals. The majority of the data is currently recorded as words, mathematical symbols, or other symbol systems.